Yeah, here <coughs> uh, I will uh, talk about the density functional theory. Mm, actually, the this chapter is not included in my uh, in my textbook, uh, recent uh, solid state textbook, and here chapter. Anyway, density functional theory. We call it is a DFT theory. DFT theory, uh, density functional theory is very important important theory uh, to calculate the electronic structure of solids. And uh, we uh, nowadays many theoretical calculation in solid state is needed to the energy band structure and uh, momentum dependence and we already talked about that what is the energy band diagram and energy energy band structure has many uh, many informations like effective mass and also dimensional t electronic structure dimensionality and also uh, so many uh, so many information for electrical transport whether even the magnetic transport and when you calculate the spin density of a state, and we can obtain the magnetic state also. And uh, so many, so much amount of information can be obtained from the DFT theory uh, uh, band structure. And uh, basically, the uh, band structure, uh, band structure can be calculated by using the density functional theory. And here I will describe the basic principle, not detailed calculation. And the detailed calculation will be performed by the uh, numerical calculation. And uh, so, uh, for example, FASIP, whether VN2K, and that kind of commercial, uh, program, commercial program for the band structure calculation. And, and then uh, there are several web-based web -based service to calculate the electronic structure. And here, in the, this talk, only, only deal with the basic principle of the density functional theory. Uh, before saying the density functional theory, I will start from the Fermi, uh, Thomas Fermi mod model. We already studied for the Thomas Fermi screening, and uh, it deal, it calculate the, calculates the Schrodinger equation, and uh, the Schrodinger equation of the dressed particles by dressed particle dressed electrons are surrounding by the ions. And here, Thomas Fermi model calculate the Schrodinger equation. Uh, therefore, we will start the effective uh, single particle Schrodinger equation. Effective single particle Schrodinger equation, <coughs> and it starts h bar square del square plus effective potential, and uh, here this potential is effective because the uh, it is not a Coulomb potential. It is addressed in Thomas Fermi screening uh, can make a uh, uh, dressed uh, dressed clouds can make an effective particle not the Coulomb Coulomb potential. And anyway, this uh, Schrodinger equation contains that the effective potential, and there is uh, several, there are several assumptions. And the one assumption is that uh, the effective potential effective potential is close to the atomic potential. This assumption is reasonable because when we studied for Thomas Fermi screening in previous lecture, and uh, the, 
the effective potential is like a Yuga potential and a very short range interaction. And the very short range potential, it means that uh, uh, the potential is close to the atomic potential. The second assumption is the, the local electron density. is determined by Fermi level. And uh, then this assumption can be uh, can be understood later and uh, it is reasonable because the Fermi level depending on the carrier concentration and uh, from the uh, local density and uh, Fermi Zomofel uh, theory say that uh, Fermi momentum can express like this and therefore the Fermi momentum is related to the uh, carrier density and therefore the local electron density is determined by the Fermi level. And third assumption is that uh, <coughs> the effective potential is determined determined by carrier local electron density and also uh, because this assumption also reasonable because when you think about the simple uh, cubic structure and uh, it is atoms reside at the corner let's assume that and uh, it is atom atom is um, it is atomic position and uh, as you said by the Thomas Fermi screening and uh, electron clouds, electrons localized, electron clouds surrounded near the atomic atoms and also effective potential is close to the atomic potential and, and therefore uh, nearby, nearby the ions and there is uh, local electron density and the local electron density because and the, we do not know the exact value for the effective potential but uh, but, but we know that uh, effective at the the uh, uh, local electron density is a function of position the position means that uh, reciprocal lattice vector and also because the ions nearby ions and uh, there is uh, there is electron cloud like this uh, therefore, the effective potential can can think about is a function of local electron density, and the local electron density is a function of n. And therefore, it is very reasonable. And the basic idea of this density functional theory is that uh, all kinds of information is coming from the local electron density. Yeah, it is very important. Yeah, because and. Uh, because we know we do not know we can we can know that if we know that the crystal structure and uh, the crystal structure uh, means that uh, uh, atoms atom atomic position in the nearby the atomic position there is uh, local electron density and uh, we, therefore we can know that the local electron density and uh, because of the local electron density determine the uh, 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 local electron density gives rise to the effective potential. Therefore, we can know that uh, and also effective potential is close to the atomic potential. Therefore, we can solve this Schrodinger equation because we know that the uh, atomic potential and also the, uh, the information only get from the crystal structure. And also, therefore, we recall this that it is the first principle calculation Because it is, uh, uh, if we know that the crystal structure and the electron density, then the, it can directly calculate the band structure. Therefore, we call it the first principle calculation or the RB initial calculation. And uh, uh, because in the Fermi momentum, in the Fermi momentum, can be uh, 
Fermi momentum, Kf, R also can be uh, is uh, is given by the local electron density like this, uh, and also the Fermi energy. Fermi energy is that uh, h bar square kf square over 2m plus effective potential. And the first term is the kinetic energy and it is uh, effective potential. And because this kf cube is that uh, uh, 3 pi square n, therefore the, the local electron density The local electron density can be write down 1 3 pi square kf cube and the kf cube can be calculated from the above and it is a 1 over 3 pi square and also it is that uh, Fermi energy minus effective potential and then divide by 2m, multiply 2m over h bar square, and also it is that uh, 3 half to the 3, 3 half. It is a local electron density. Uh, here, because we know that uh, this local electron density is close to the uh, uh, local electron density is close to the ions. And uh, we, sh we can we should solve the Poisson equation. And uh, this, in this case, the potential is the effective potential. And anyway, the effective potential is close to the atomic potential. And therefore, and here, in we should solve the Poisson equation. Poisson Poisson equation is that. Uh, Delta square effective potential can be write down minus 4 pi e square and r and r we already uh, given from the above and therefore it is that uh, minus 4 e square and 3 pi and also 2m over h bar square and uh, EF minus V effective 3 half and uh, uh, here basically this equation is a self-consistent equation because it is uh, we should uh, we should solve this effective potential then we should know the effective potential and here in this case we choose the initial trial function trial function of effective potential then uh, we can get this get this value and then uh, we can solve this uh, Poisson equation then we can get the, the, the difference when we solve this if, uh, it is a, it is a real value if we know that uh, this trial function then uh, we can solve this Poisson equation and then this the solution, the solution of the effective potential becomes the input on here. And then solve again the Poisson equation and iterate, iterate many times until this, the solution can be converges. And therefore we can th say that it is a self-consistent equation. Self-consistent equation and uh, it should solve by iteration, uh, iteration, iterative calculation. By numerical method. And anyway, And uh, this density functional theory uh, is the computational, we need to the computational uh, calculation. 
and uh, by solving this self-consistent Poisson equation, and uh, here we can get uh, from this equation we can get uh, converges effective potential, converged effective potential. Then this potential can be an input of this Schrodinger equation. Then uh, therefore it is. It is uh, we can say that it, uh, it is uh, Thomas Fermi model satisfy this Schrodinger equation. And therefore, the Thomas Fermi model describes well the heavy atoms, and but the effective potential varies rapidly, apart from the atomic core. And therefore, the this local density is uh, the problem on this on this one is that uh, it assumes that the local density determine uh, determine the effective potential and the effective potential is close to the atomic potential. This assumption is very simple assumption and uh, in real cases uh, the, the local density is a little bit different from the real potential and, uh, and also the, this Thomas Fermi model does not take, take into account the exchange interaction and uh, it only consider for the only Coulomb interaction and uh, here and uh, we should note that we should note that the the Thomas Fermi model does not take into account the exchange correlation. Exchange correlation is important in the correlated system or other magnetism, and or, but uh, it, uh, this Thomas Fermi model is very simple, simple, uh, simple uh, theory.